Good morning, good morning. It is three o'clock a.m. I'm on my way to the gym right now. It is, uh, life is amazing. And the reason why I say that is I've always been one of those type of people who think things happen for a reason. And when you start, when you really start kind of embracing that, for me what it's done it's allowed me to take each individual situations or, or events that have happened in my life and, and corner it and say, okay, why this? I got up this morning, I'm always looking for something to listen to, something to play while I'm, I'm getting ready, while I'm uh, mentally preparing for my day uh, physically getting ready for my day, going through my rituals, having my 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 breakfast and shaving my head and, and taking my shower and getting my gym clothes prepared and, and, and going through this and meditating. This morning, I put on a YouTube channel and, and so happened at the top of it was Joe Osteen. Now, Joe Osteen is my buddy. He's a friend. I've listened to his words so much and I don't believe any man walking the face of this earth is perfect. But I believe that you can see when somebody has a spirit for God. Because there's a discernment that comes with their, with their personality. So I say, man, let me go ahead and give Joel another twist. I haven't heard him in a while, so I'm, I'm, you know, let me go ahead and... I didn't know that I really wanted to hear that this morning because I usually listen to something a little more pumping. But through his sermon, he got to a point and he says, I know it seems like it's not going to work. I know it seems like it's not going to happen. I know you want to throw in the towel. I know you want to quit. He said, but I remind you of something. It's that the hard work only builds you to make you a better person. That all you need is one opportunity and your life will be set on fire. He says, I know that you feel like you've squandered away opportunity. You've passed on promotion. You feel like you've used up everything that you had coming to you. And you have nothing else left. But he said that God wouldn't still have you on the face of this earth if he thought you had nothing left left be patient be still and have faith the size of a mustard seed and it will happen Dude, I don't know about you, but I can't wake up to the morning news because it ain't giving me that type of energy. There ain't nothing on, on Channel 12 news about somebody getting shot or killed gonna get me up and going like listening to something like that to reinvigorate, to keep me encouraged to say keep going. To take a moment to step back, be thankful. See, that's what it all boils down to at the end of the day. You've got to be thankful. You've squandered away opportunity. You've passed on promotion. That wasn't nobody else. That wasn't nobody else. So why play the victim when it seems like promotion an opportunity is not going to come back around. No. Take responsibility. Reflect. 
be thankful and know that all it takes is one more chance to get it going. Just know that. So if you like what I said and you you, you have any thoughts or feelings or something you'd like to add on to that, uh, be sure to leave a comment in the bottom if this is a uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, and if not, click the like and subscribe button. I'll be coming to you with some more, uh, hopefully, beneficial information in the journey of my life, my time. All right? Stay blessed. Take care.